about to get me a turkey. He did! Yeah! What up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. It's happening. I warned y'all. It is a uh, happening. We got the old trailer pulled in here. Old Gerald. <laughs> Get it, dude. Working on it. My goodness. Dude, you taking out some frustration for being bored? Some boredom. Some boredom. Dude, it's something to do. It's amazing. Everybody's been bored, and we finally got the green light. We finally got everything just lined out and ready to go. So, like I've been telling y'all, construction has begun. So what we gotta do, y'all know the grand scheme. This is the hunting lodge, yada, 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 sandhill flyways, blah, blah, blah. My new guide service, the whole nine yards. If you guys are interested in booking a hunt, you'll be staying here. We're gonna be doing renovation of the entire lodge all summer long. So today, the stairwell has to go. Um, this needs to go, and like we're doing in here. That was a ledge, it's already gone, an old beef cake. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and then this wall and this wall has to go today. So that's the plan. We already got a pile going in here. That's for certain. Oh, underway. We got a lot to do. It's going to be a long road. A lot of videos to come. Oh, boy, howdy. This is going to go fast. Let's check it out. We got to stay out of the beef, beef man over here. Bull beefcake. Uh, so check this out. A couple things. It's already got speaker wires wired in. I just undid this one. Uh-huh. I was just wondering, I'm like, why? Then I was like, you know what would be awesome is if every room had its own intercom and speakers ran to it so you could tell people to get up. Hey, wake up! But check this out. I was wondering what this was. I had never even known. Look at this. A little uh so this room the previous owner did all of his powder coating he powder coated in here he had a little oven right here check it out this is the best poop fan because this is now going to be a bathroom we got a huge poop fan ready to go <laughs> you take a major dump in here you're going to be able to <coughs> get rid of the smell pretty quick but that right there is freaking sweet i didn't even know that was there i'm sure kevin the previous owner told me but i overlooked it probably because i was just so excited but look at look at him local beauty just oh yeah look at him can't stop the man i've been doing the little things he's just been over here getting it oh so there's our vent pipe for our plumbing okay okay plumbing's about to start eh yep gonna make a mess yeah so plumbing, there's a lot of plumbing to do in that room. That's why we're starting with that room. Uh, I'm gonna get to work. Uh, we're gonna get to hacking and throwing and hammering and hitting and spitting. So, how's your head doing, bub? I got one right here too. Well, you see good. it? Let me see it. Oh, little man, yeah. You got to redo your stereo strip, bub. He don't care though. He's out here getting it. Making some headway. Check it out. That did not take long. We got this whole wall off, that whole wall off. Uh, gonna leave the squirrel cage fan for the aroma dispenser. This is what we originally need to get done today. Uh, I think now that we're that far, that literally only took like an hour, not even that. We're gonna go ahead and remove this bench, maybe the stairs. I have to see uh, if the electrician is gonna need that or not to get around. And then this needs to come off, this whole large chest height bench. I don't need it, we won't use that. There's gonna be a wall about that high, same same deal all right here. This will be covered up, y'all know the drill. Oh, we've been working on this bench for another bit of 30 minutes. There we go, oh my God. Dude, overbuilt, everything is overbuilt. Kevin, you have overbuilt everything. I'm just gonna let you know. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. You shop dog today? Oh, Gerald, he's had about enough of this workbench. Dude, my goodness. 
One vent. There's like 400 freaking screws. <laughs> so we got that room, all the sheet rock off, swept up, fully done, and literally probably, probably 45 minutes. Uh, this bench we got taken away from the wall. So what I plan on doing with this bad boy, it's an awesome workbench. We're going to put it in the other shop. Yep, the other shop. So we can charge all of our mojos, anything we need on there. So reusing that one and then this one that we just got done with we are reusing it as well again another charging station mojos batteries whatever we need to do yes gerald's working again and i'm filming this is why well hi babe hello you want to see all of our hard work come on this way that bathroom uh -huh. oh wow Huh? It's all gutted? Yeah. Because this is where the new sink, shower, and everything will go. Getting after it, babe. Oh, gee. You're wild, dude. You're wild. So this is our next project. Is we're going to take all of the metal skin off the whole face. Get all of it off. It'll all go to sheetrock is what it will go to. Oh, we're making a mess now. We've been tearing down electrical. We've been been doing it all. I've been inside for the last 30 minutes trying to upload. And he's been out here knocking out these stairs. This is what we've got done. I, we got this wall done before I started uploading. Out here living in the boondocks now, the internet service is horrible. So I have to hotspot off my phone. It sucks. But we got all the metal off the face of this wall. And now, like I said, Gerald's going to work. Dude, look at all these screws. I got screws for days. It's insane. We're gonna we're gonna have screws for the rest of our life. Yeah. He used enough. Yeah. Whatever. You uh Gerald's been bored at home. Oh you yeah. <laughs> Have you been out here cussing up a storm? <laughs> Still whittling away. This one's out of all of them's kicking my butt. Yep, yeah, and and the reason why is because four screws are stripped out on the top of it. Yeah, uh, we need a sledgehammer. You know when? <laughs> oh yeah, there you go. Watch out for that camera. <laughs> Take us back there, sis. Got our little driver, a little helper here. What did we do, sis? We buried Lenny. Oh, poor Lenny. Let's go take a look. Poor Lenny. Poor Lenny. They say one in four to one in five of these little baby chicks survive. And we knew that going into it, but poor little Lenny. We got a little. That's her spot, huh? Harper. She understands. She sees the birds dad brings home. It's nothing new. 
One thing I do know is Sissy is a good driver. Good job, sis. We didn't go this way in a long time. Yeah, way. you're really getting to be a good driver, sis. Well, it's the next day. And as you can tell, look at this. The spring storms are a brewing. I am loving it. You loving it, dude? Frederick, are you loving it? But we made some headway yesterday on the lodge. Uh, got pretty far. Actually got a lot more done than I figured. I'm turning my shop into my dream lodge, y'all. I mean, it's gonna be a huge undertaking. I knew it was going to be a massive undertaking. I have never done something to this scale, to this magnitude, by myself at all. So, now y'all, I've had a ton of you ask, Bobby, are you going to have any help? Are you going to have any outside help come in? And yes, I have a handful of buddies, a plumber buddy, a construction buddy. They're all going to come help me do every bit of this, guys. I'm not going to be on my own. I'm not going to be just guessing blindly. I'm gonna have some grade A help the entire way, the entire process. But right now, as you guys can tell, I'm trying to get done what I can, what I can confidently get done to save myself some money, some time, some this, some that, you never know. I, I don't know what all we're gonna get into, but adding this entire living space is gonna be huge. It's a massive undertaking and then, <laughs> Yeah, don't mind all this, but, and then we have right here, we have the entire kitchen again, and then the living area, TV's up on the wall. Now, in the last video of the lodge, I asked y'all, what should we do with the doors? Y'all commented and said, don't get rid of them doors. And I heard y'all loud and clear, many good reasons why you don't get rid of these doors. And number two, I asked what I should do on this wall for TVs. And there are a handful of you that said, that I should have multiple TVs. And you know, during the fall hunting season, all the college football, all the sports on in general, as long as we get back to everybody playing sports, you know what I mean? All this quarantine, Whew. But I think y'all are right. I think I need to put a couple to a few TVs up here. Maybe two, maybe four big old flat screens. So. A ton of videos to come from the lodge, y'all, and I need y'all's help the entire way through. If you guys have any ideas, you guys need to drop a comment down below and let me know. And another thing, a ton of you have emailed me and reached out saying, Bob, I build furniture. Bob, I build American flag uh, CNC machined cutout, big old plaques that you can put on your wall that says Sand Hill Flyways. If you guys want to make anything, uh, get a hold of me, shoot me an email. If you guys want to send something small, because a lot of you do, my P.O. box is down in the description below. If it's big, then you probably need to get a hold of me via Instagram DM or on email. I appreciate y'all so much. So, hopefully I don't have the camera too high. Speaking of which, y'all sent a ton of letters to the P.O. box. I am not gonna be able to go through them all, but I did read some really special ones. Uh, this was one that my wife read. She really liked. Check it out. Drew me a picture of a greenhead. That is sweet, isn't it? Big shout out to Levi A for sending me this. A special little letter. Um, just really, uh, all these letters are so personal. And I'm getting so many of them that my wife are sitting down and just reading them and enjoying them. And I used to read all of them on camera, but now oh, we've got over 15 this week and I just want to give a big shout out if you send your letters if you send anything the PO box again is linked down in the description below but big shout out to Alan your letter is amazing Kellen your letter again amazing me and my wife sat down and read all these guys thank you so much for your continued support of the entire lodge and not only the lodge but the YouTube channel and all. You guys, without you guys, I wouldn't be doing this. So without you guys, again, none of this would be happening. I wouldn't have that trailer with my face on it, for goodness sakes. I wouldn't be turning my shop into my dream hunting lodge. So 
Not gonna get all, uh, not gonna get all soft on y'all here, but I just want you guys to know from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys so much for always supporting me, uh, whether it's through picking up something from Ducks or just subscribing, hitting the notification bell, sharing a video, telling a buddy about the channel, like, hey, you and your son should should watch Bobby, you know? And I, I've had so many people be like, hey, my buddy told me to watch you and now I can't stop. Especially during these quarantine times, you know? It's it's not fun. But y'all, we have a ton of videos on the way. Old Frederick. Yep. Old Frederick McGree. Mag Don't even. No. You little stinker. He is really bad about marking my tires. Old Frederick, though. He's going to the dog trainer. I know a ton of you have been asking when. I've been hyping it up because I'm going to miss him. And we've been spending a lot of time together. Uh, it's, it's not like we'll never see him. You guys will be going with me over there. We'll be doing training videos together. So if you have a new puppy, if you're wanting training videos of, or, or just some questions answered of how I've trained Fred, what I've done, the tactics I've used, if you need some dog training tips, those videos will be coming your way and probably one a week. But thank you all for being here. I appreciate it. This is awesome. This is going to be a long road all summer long. Thank you for your guys' help. Your guys' tips go a long ways. But... Until next time. Peace. I've been getting laid back, baby. You should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism. I've been keeping it on the DL. Got a girl that keeps it real.